Welcome to this One Place Mail screencast demonstrating Windows File Explorer to SharePoint integration and Microsoft Office, Word, Excel and PowerPoint 2003, 2007 and 2010 integration with SharePoint. This screencast extends the previous Outlook to SharePoint screencast to further show the benefits of connecting user desktop applications with Microsoft SharePoint. The One Place Mail Windows Explorer integration allows the user to highlight one or more files on their desktop or on a shared network drive and select right-click Send to SharePoint. Through this facility, a user can conveniently transfer any files accepted by SharePoint, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF files, and images. In this case, I have highlighted four images. I will select Send to SharePoint. The familiar upload window now appears, allowing me to complete any destination SharePoint library column information. This is the same window as seen in the Outlook to SharePoint screencast. Therefore, I have access to file into the same My One Place Mail SharePoint destinations. Given the files I'm saving to SharePoint are images, I will select the picture library. The SharePoint column information for the picture library is now available for me to complete. The title column is automatically set to the file name to streamline the upload process. However, I can override this if I wish. If you add additional columns to your SharePoint library, they will immediately be available for the user to complete. One Place Mail provides a new option for any lookup lists in the library. If you do not have access to create any new items in this list, the new link will not display. I will select New to add a new event to the event lookup. I will call the event AGM 2010 and complete the other relevant information for the list item. The newly created list item is now selected. The user also has the option of renaming any files during the upload process. I will add a prefix to the whale image called 2010 Viewing Season, and will now upload the files to SharePoint. The files have now been transferred to SharePoint. The Upload Results window allows me to view or further work on the uploaded items. I will select View to see the whale image that is now in SharePoint with all the column information completed. Let's have a look at the results in SharePoint, where as you have seen in the previous screencasts, you can also access SharePoint directly from within Microsoft Outlook. As you can see, the images with completed column information, including the renamed file, are now in SharePoint. I can search and create SharePoint views based on the entered metadata. The calendar list also contains the new event we created during the upload process. In addition to Windows File Explorer integration, OnePlace Mail also provides tight integration with Microsoft Office. Creating, viewing and editing documents using Microsoft Office, Word, Excel and PowerPoint is a very common daily task. OnePlace Mail makes it easy to save documents from mixed environments such as Office 2003, 2007 and 2010 directly into SharePoint, therefore encouraging the business to utilise the powerful document management capabilities of SharePoint rather than the network drive. In this example, I will create a new Word document. In Office 2007 and 2010, you will see a new ribbon button called Upload to SharePoint. In 2003, when no ribbon is available, you have an equivalent Upload to SharePoint button. You also have the Upload to SharePoint menu option on the File Save As or Save and Send menu in the case of 2010. I will select Upload to SharePoint. As this is a new document, I will be requested to provide a file name for the document. OnePlace Mail now displays the Upload window for filing into SharePoint. Again, I have full access to the My OnePlace Mail destinations. On this occasion, I will select a library called Version Control. This library has version control and check-in check-out enabled. The columns defined for the library appear in the same manner as previously demonstrated. I will add one or more enterprise keywords using the type ahead available in SharePoint 2010 and now made available by OnePlace Mail to Office 2003, 2007 and 2010 clients. Clicking on Upload will save the document to the library with the appropriate metadata and will reopen the document in Microsoft Word, allowing me to continue editing the document. From this point forward we are using the full Office 2007 and 2010 integration capabilities. I will check out the document from the SharePoint library and make some modifications and check it back into SharePoint with comments. I can continue this editing process as often as required during my document creation. OnePlace Mail also exposes some of the other standard 2007 and 2010 capabilities to the Office user in a manner to help promote the adoption of SharePoint across the organisation. OnePlace Mail has also added a new button called Search SharePoint to allow the user to conveniently search the SharePoint environment. Any of these buttons can be hidden if not required by your organisation. I will check in the document 
and have a look at the results in SharePoint. The Word document and all the versions are stored in SharePoint with the document version comments available. Thank you for watching this one place mail screencast showing Windows File Explorer and Microsoft Office integration to SharePoint. The complete one place mail software and documentation is available for download and evaluation. The download provides you with the full capabilities presented in this screencast series to evaluate against your business requirements.